Hello and welcome to the 22nd financial plotting tutorial within Python and Matplotlib where we left off. We uh, created a function for computing the exponential moving average. Now what we want to do is create a function for using the exponential moving average um, to compute the MACD. So, and actually like all of the MACD. So the way that we're going to do that is with another function, of course, and that's going to be define and compute MACD. And our parameters here is going to be x, you know, for the data. And then we have the slow line. And we'll go ahead and define them, but obviously you could change them later. And then fast line, 12. And that's it there for all the parameters that we need. The next thing we want to do is let's go ahead and remind ourselves what consists of, or what the MACD consists of. So the MACD begins with, you've got like a MACD, like the actual line of the MACD, and that's the 12 EMA minus the 26 EMA. Next, you've got the signal line, and the signal line is the 9 EMA minus, um, or I'm sorry, it's the 9 EMA of the MACD line. And then finally, you've got like the histogram, um, so a lot of people do it with bars, but we're not going to use bars. We're going to use like a line and a filler. But you, I, you know, the probably the proper way is with bars. I just don't like them. Um, is going to be the MACD line minus the signal line. Okay. So just a you know reminder about what's going on with the MACD. Um, so now for our function of the MACD, this is actually probably easier than the moving average was or the exponential moving average. But the way that we're going to do this is we're going to say EMA slow equals uh, EXP moving average. And then we want to use X and um, slow. So it'll be like the 26, basically. And then we're going to do EMA fast. And I think what we'll do, we'll just copy and paste this. Save our fingers and typing. Work smart, not hard. Fast, X, fast. And then finally, um, what we want to return is going to be EMA slow, EMA fast, and then EMA fast minus EMA slow. And that should return us a the, all three uh, parts to our MACD chart that we need. Um, actually, well, then we'll also have to do the exp the nine period exponential moving average, but that we'll just call down there and we'll just do you know this function with it. So that covers the creation of the exponential moving average. So now I guess what we would want to do is let's make the space uh, for that MACD chart. So let's scroll down here and we'll add it. I guess. We'll put it right down here. Um, so to do this, we're going to say, let's see, what, are, what kind of ranges are we using at the moment? Five by five. Let's make this a actually, I'm trying to think. Hmm, let's bring this up real quick. See what we're, what we're working with. But yeah, we have got no space. So we definitely need to make some space. Um, so we'll make it a six by four. And just kind of run through it real quick. Six by four. That was a shared axis. So I think that'll do it. Give us some space at the bottom. Yep. Okay. So now what we want to do is uh, define our, you know, AX2. Let me stop this program from running. Um, so AX2 is going to equal PLT dot subplot to grid. And it will be working with a six by four. It's going to start at 5, 0. Um, it's going to share the x-axis of AX1. It's going to row span one row. And it's going to column span four columns. And it's going to have an axis background of... Um, let's see if we can find it. Here we go. This right here. Scroll back down, axis background, paste. Awesome.
And let's just see what we got now. Might not be able to see it because I don't think we changed any spines, but you can tell it's there because it blocks out all this stuff. Nice. <laughs> so I think what we'll do is let's go ahead and add all the spine information here. I think what we can do is take this. Thank you, sir. Copy. Paste. We don't want this. But we do want this. Paste, 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 and paste. Save it. Run it. See what we're working with now. Cool. Okay, so now we've got the dates here. We do have these dates that we want to get rid of. Um, I guess we'll do that and then maybe you know, arrange those correctly and then we'll continue on in the next video. So we'll close out of that and we'll stop the program here. Now what we want to do is, where is that function where we're aligning stuff? Here it is. So get rid of this, you know, four labels in AX1. Come down here. Now we're going to do four labels in AX2. Now what we want to do is come down here, and we'll just like, do this same thing for AX1. Save that. Run that. See what we got now. All right, looking good. We've got a little overlap here, but we'll deal with that later. We'll just trim the upper. Um, okay, cool. So now what we're ready to do is call the MACD function and actually plot it on there. And I think in the interest of trying to keep my videos a little bit shorter than they've been running, I'm going to cut the video here and continue on in the next video. So hopefully uh, you guys are looking forward to adding the MACD to your chart and really kind of completing your chart um, a lot of people this is exactly the chart they always plot so it's kind of cool when you can do it yourself so as always um, thank you for watching thanks for your support your subscriptions and until the next video